Hello, my wonderful people. Greetings to you all. Good afternoon, wherever you are this moment. I welcome you and also bless you. Bless the works of your hand. In case you are hearing my voice for the first time, you have not subscribed to my channel, please endeavor to do that as soon as possible. Without you, they have nothing like Okute Daily Talk. And be rest assured that this ministry is fast moving to the permanent side. And I want you to be part of this uh, very, very ministry. Uh, let us move straight into the business of the day. We are starting our news with the headlines, then we go to, to the news to expand and elaborate on the wisdoms attached to them. Mazin Namdekano don't drag Buhari to court on the issue or on the level or on the um, platform of uh, uh, Buhari have already trampled uh, on the human rights of Mazi Okechuku Namdekano. Why Tinumbu won Igbos against PDP's lies soaked of bread? This one is medicine after death. I have read the news and I have seen the nonsense that you people are talking inside the news. It makes no sense. You have already said what you said. That is a very, very grave warning to the uh, Igbos and also to the Southerners. Uh, but my question is must everybody vote for APC? So you want all the whole Nigerians to vote for APC, then what is the need of having opposition if that is the only way? What is the, what is the need of having PDP, uh, Labour Party, AAC, APCA and the rest of them? You want all the whole people to vote on your favour. When they do not, you threaten them with uh, marginalisation and also threaten them with poverty. That is exactly what is this. So anyone coming to defend what is not defendable, that person eh, is a, a complete a fool, and uh, Igbo people are the helm of all this. They must surely defend Tunumbu for what he said. <laughs> Buhari is campaigning against Tunumbu, human rights lawyer Odin, Odin Kalo alleges. 2023 reactions as Tunumbu's famous Balabulu blunder becomes exam question as university. Hey, why well, I know they finish you? When I never see anything, when I never see something. But I never see Shanshin. And I go hear more. They have, they have, they have started uh, packaging him now. They have started uh, uh, by cutting uh, uh, anything uh, anywhere he went for, for, uh, uh, for whatever they call it, uh, either for interview or for advertisement or for rally. Now they don't uh, do live video again. They don't do live. They only post recorded video of whatever that happened there and uh, uh, mind you that the recorded videos is when you go back to your home you begin to go through the video anywhere you find gaps you delete you cut and join and the rest of them before bringing it to the public that's exactly what they are doing uh, with our our Ebu, uh, Balabulu, Bulabu and the rest of them Abadu, uh, your, 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 your um, PVC have expired the one that is going to uh, recruit uh, 50 million youths. I beg, how many youths remain again when you, you don't uh, recruit 50 million youths into the army? You are almost uh, uh, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the quarter of living. Your last one have already expired. I want to uh, uh, recruit uh, 50 million youths. If this man would have said, we will recruit uh, 50 million adults, it would have been more better, at least adults from 50 years up that have uh, their first issue, second, third, fourth, or even going to the retirement. You have the audacity, the, the, the nerves. You tell Nigerians are going to recruit 50 million youths, what are they going to eat? Abadu, cassava, corn, and the rest of them. And farmers will make more money. Eh? And they are going to turn Yahoo Yahoo boys to be, pro uh, <laughs> to be manufacturing of chips. I beg you, you want to open plantain chips in, in, uh, in, uh, in, the, in Delta, I mean, in Edo City, there's a very, a very, very big uh, insult in the in the first in the first of uh, 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 Edo Edo youths, calling them all Yahoo boys. Tunumbu here, yeah, the world is about to come. Oh, people people have not seen anything. Just keep watching and keep listening. You will hear what you will hear the one that will make your ear to tingle. Tunumbu don't go launch his own Jagaban army. <laughs> The Jagaban army, my dear, be rest assured that these ones are the ones that will storm every election, anywhere they do the election. Either they stole the ballot box because 
or they stole the beavers mention or whatever to make sure that APC and the Tunumbu win this election. He have already inaugurated his uh, Taliban army in Lagos State by by the youth uh, leader of APC. Insurgents sit at home order post serious challenge to general elections. Cleric warns. So my good people of Yapra, we are about to take off now. Please tighten your seat belt as we begin our news. Martin Namdekano have taken Buhari, Malami, the federal government of uh, Abib, uh, Fulani government of Nigeria, and the Zoological Republic of the country. We have taken all of them to court for violating and trampling on his own human rights. Even a governor of Ebony State and the other uh, governors forum in the eastern region, they are involved because all of them are the ones that made up what is happening to Martin Namdekano and why they keep uh, they still keep him in detention. Even despite the fact that they, 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 they said they, they have to stay for execution or whatever they call it after the ruling uh, uh, court uh, set him free and uh, acquitted him. Stay of execution, how long will it take for them to attend to it at, at, the, at the Supreme Court? <laughs> Nobody have heard from them again. They have abandoned Mazen Namdekano, which is a health condition that is not uh, uh, okay. And deny him access to his uh, physicians and also denying him, denying him, him food and uh, medications that he's supposed to be taking on a daily basis. So let us read the news. And for, for many of us out there who have no glimpse of what is happening between the federal government of the Nigeria or Fulani government of Nigeria and the people of uh, Biafra or the indigenous people of Biafra leader Mas Namdekano. So just give me your listening ear because. We are giving you a very vital information that you need to take back home this very Monday. The embattled leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP Mazin Namde Okechukukano, don't drag President Mamamadu Buhari to court over the alleged violation of his human rights in DSS custody. Nigerian News report that the suit filed at the High Court in Enugu has named the Kano and Apple as plaintiffs. Why the federal government, Abifla and the government, President Mamadou Buhari, Attorney General of the Federation, Governor of Ebony State, and Southeast Governors Forum are the respondents. The IPOP leader is praying the court to declare the practical application of the Terrorism Prevention Act and the executive or administrative action of the respondents, which directly led to the prescription prescription of IPOP and is listening as a terrorist group is illegal, unlawful, unconstitutional, and amounts to infringement of his fundamental human rights not to be subjected to any disabilities or restrictions on the basis of his ethnic as shrine as okay as enshrined and guaranteed under the section forty two of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, nineteen ninety nine, as amended and his fundamental human rights as enshrined under the Articles of 2, 3, 19, and 20 of the African Charter on Human and People's Rights Enforcement and the Ratifications Act. You get it? The English, I know it is too long, but, ne but no, <laughs> never mind. I'm going to illustrate it uh, one after the other. In the case, instituted on his behalf by Alor Ejimako, Nam Dekanu wants the court to do the men, among others, that self-determination is not a crime and thus cannot be used as a basis to arrest, detain, and persecute him and members of the IPOB in general. Kanu wants the court to grant an order of injunction restraining and prohibiting the respondent from taking any further step in any criminal prosecutions of the applicants and members of IPOB on the basis of the said prosecutions of IPOB and its listening as a terrorist group, an order mandating and comparing the respondent to forthwith release application and all members of IPOP from detention and to disease from any other arrest, detentions, uh, persecutions, and extra judicial killings of the members of IPOP. An order mandating and comparing the respondent jointly or severely to issue the official letter of apology to the applicants and members of IPOP for the infringement 
of their said fundamental rights and publications of said letters of apology in three national dailies. An order mandating the compiling the respondent to jointly or severally pay the sum of 25 billion naira to the applicants and the sum of 500 billion naira to members of IPOP being mandatory damages claimed by the applicants and members of IPOP against the respondents jointly and uh, severally for the physical, mental, emotional, psychological, property and other damages suffered by the applicants and members of IPOP as a result of the infringement of their fundamental rights by the respondents. On I get it, please continue listening. I am coming. The leaves are sought on the ground that the applicant is entitled to his fundamental rights not to be subjected to any disabilities or restrictions on the basis of his ethnic as enshrined and guaranteed under the section 42 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 99 as amended and his fundamental rights enumerated under the articles of 2, 3, 19 and 20 of the African Charter on Human Rights and People's Rights Enforcement and Ratification Act. That unless the respondents are restrained by an order of uh, this honorable court, the applicant will continue to suffer the infringement of his fundamental human rights. The Okute News, in conjunction and in collaboration with Punch News and NigerNews.com, report that the date for the hearing is yet to be fixed. They are keep delaying and delaying and delaying and delaying. They want to pass on the Kano to uh, to the incoming uh, um what they call it to the incoming uh, president and the incoming administration to deal with it. My only prayer is that let Martin Namdekanu be heard and hearty to face all the challenges because uh, the, the, the troubles I heard is much more than what we can imagine. But uh, by the special grace of Chukwuke Abiyama, we will overcome all these things. Why to number one evils against PDP's lies of soaked bread? We are about to hear the defense from an evil man who is among those people who have sold Igbo for peanuts. The All Progressive Congress APC presidential candidate Ahmed Bola Ahmed, Ahmed Bola Tinumbu has explained why he warned the Southeast to be wary of the People's Democratic Party's PDP continuous service to the region with a slice of soap bread. Why can't you cut PDP when you say this? Uh -huh. Now they want to come to defend you, they bring PDP in. What have PDP got to do with you giving Igbos the warning of their lives in their own land and insulting them. The same way President Mama de Buhari did in the last eight years. That is for everybody and he's for nobody. That his 95% attention goes to those people who voted him 95%. Then 5% goes to the people who didn't vote for him. That is the Easterners. And that's exactly why even as of that, no any infrastructure from the federal government, the Easterners are not worried. No energy allocations from the federal government, the Easterners are not worried. Even if the governor receives it, they, they spend it on their favorites and the, and the lavish lifestyle. The Easterners are not worried. They still move ahead with their business. Then you people seeing all these things, think about the way to, to manipulate and to make sure that the Easterners have no any single piece. You people initiated the system of uh, unknown government. Unknown government. DSS, SSS, police, navy, army, man of war, all of them combined together, Fulani, jihadists, and the rest of them to form a non government just to make sure that there is no any peace in the southeast. And it is working for you people. But you people should not uh, forget that whatever I have a beginning must surely have an end one day. Even the life we are living, we don't stay on this life forever. In one way or the other, when we reach our goal, we depart from the earth. That means that person has expired. So all these things, thinking that this thing will last forever, it can never last forever. It has expired it, and when that time reach, then the eye, where they cry, then on going to say, they see very well. Now that new report that Tunumbu's statement during a rally in Enugu last Wednesday had drawn widespread condemnation, with many accusing him of hatred for the Igbos. He hates Igbos, that is one, is, is, that one is, there is no two ways about that. He has done everything humanly possible to forsake the Igbos in Lagos State, and yet the Igbo keep on multiplying. That is the problem. And the Igbos are not here themselves. 
They are one of the mumus we have in Nigeria. Even when somebody tell you, I don't want you, you see they carry your head. Ne tishi, ane bugere we bine tishi. Oh, 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 na na mumu na, mumu don't do. The time has come when we supposed to learn. Anybody that tell you he don't want you, go back to your home and develop. If the whole Igbo people, the whole rich Igbo people that scattered the whole uh, state in Nigeria come together and went back home, went back to their different states, establish it, then use their hand to form a very strong vigilante. I mean, that's what they call strong vigilante, vigilante, just like uh, that of a uh, uh, listen, um, Bakasi then in the whole eastern states. They guide that place. Let me see how this plan is. We penetrate and disturb their businesses. We are more than enough there to do our business, even locally and internationally. I still feel comfortable, not with the help of uh, whatever they are doing, either in Lagos, but I got or anywhere else. But the problem there is that who and who is ready to go back home? That is the problem. Clarifying Tunubu's statement, his postman in the region, Dr. Joseph Ono. A flavor, just a just a flavor for no, said that what the APC presidential candidate did in Enugu during the rally was a clear warning to the southeast about the dangers ahead if they vote, if they vote with emotions rather than interest. Chineke, a one super welcome, a one super welcome, you, you, uh, Joseph Abi Kiloruke, or no, a one super welcome, and your family. According to Ono, the political downfall of the southeast since 1999 has always been casting their votes. For the presidential uh, for the PDP presidential candidates right up to the last election hence he warned them that such mistake again we leave them another serve of a slice of soap bread have you seen it look at how you are defending something that is not defendable uh people who do us whoever that do us will, will surely undo us when the time is right in reality, despite all the support the Southeast has blindly given to the PDP presidential candidate over the years, the PDP has continuously served the region with only a slice of soaked bread. When and how? Explain to us. Southeast geopolitical zone of Nigeria is probably one of the most neglected parts of our country, with scores of politicians and money bags second to be godfathers and godmothers. The ruins and scares strangulating our uh, our once vibrant zone are self-inflicted though by a greedy self-serving few he stated that the south is uh, affinity with the people democratic party remains terribly unjustifiable flawed and disastrous particularly with support for their presidential candidates according to him the south is con uh, continues to vote for pdp presidential candidates that continuously and systematically impoverish it honor said that the five states Five south uh, east states of uh, Abia, Anambara, Eboin, Enugu, and Imo are all guilty of this crime. He said, We must com uh, commend gov uh, governors who put the demo of Imo State, uh, Engineer Devo Mahe of Eboin State, and Charles Oludo of Anambara State because uh, they, they are, uh, are not PDP, right? These three governors have come to realize that political affinities are born out of a mutual. Uh, you rub my back and I did rub yours scenario. I also commend Chumaro Kenaman and our latest partner in progress, Governor Ifan Uguanya of Enugu State. We await Governor Okeze Pazo of Abia State to take a stand. Let's all pursue a full loaf of bread for the Southeast together. While we ignore the lip service as Waju supporters in the Southeast who only are waiting to share campaign funds then turn around and vote for Labour Party and PDP, thinking they are fooling the world. Unfortunately, this is not what we serve, we see in the mindset of the people in the Southeast. Anyone who genuinely wishes to support Aswaju in the Southeast must prove themselves enough of the deceit to, to turn uh, own self uh, be true. He said, Tunumbu's warning during the Enugu rally is a wake up call for Igbo to support him. And be assured, Southeast will be will be served a full loaf of bread, fresh from oven of mutual benefit. Nachinek, ekwensi ya pogo kuda is ugu, ugu will visit you and your family for all the statements you make here. When I have nothing to tell you, let me not use the word that is is is, is not a proper appropriate, uh, a be appropriate for me to use. Wari is campaigning against Tunumbu, human rights lawyer, Odinkalo alleges. Speculations have emerged that President Muhammadu Buhari 
might be working against the presidential candidate of all progressive congress apc bola meri tunumbu nanyanyu report that the former chairman uh, of the national human rights commission professor chidi odinkalu has come out to claim that the president Muhammad buhari could be working against tunumbu according to the human rights lawyer the president usually at apc rallies he features is always telling nigerians to vote for someone with the, uh, with attributes that actually does not reflect quite well on Tunumbu. Odinkalu told uh, Trabune that the president might be indirectly campaigning for another candidate and not Tunumbu. He said he doesn't see the need why Tunumbu would keep presenting the president, president who speaks in such, ma in such a manner which seems to be against him. He however said it was left for the APC flag bearer to decide if he wants to keep presenting Buhari at his rallies or not. The human rights lawyer advanced that the president campaigning with Tunumbu and telling the people don't vote for a fraudulent person. <laughs> the question for me is, does Tunumbu want to continue presenting the, pre uh, the president for him to keep uh, saying the kind of things he is saying at the rallies? Things that cut uh, both ways and uh, impossibly uh, actually don't reflect uh, quite well on his candidate. It seems to me that is up to the candidate to decide. I also don't see how Buhari necessarily uh, says uh, Bola Tunumbu as a candidate to the people. You get it. If you don't get it, then you better forget it. Reaction to as Tunumbu's uh, famous uh, Balabulu, Bulabu, Bulanda becomes an exam question at the university. The All Progressive Congress APC presidential candidates Bola Tinumbu's recent gaff uh, Balabulu used as an examination question for the students at the National State University. <laughs> Nigerian News recalled that Tinumbu, during a political engagement in Imo State in 2022, made a blunder when he said a town hall different from Balabulu, Bulubulu, Bulaba. <laughs> the gaff became mockery wars and social media jokes among many Nigerians use online who oppose Tunumbu's presidential ambition. However, the mass communication students at Nasarawa State University were asked during an examination to justify the social judgment theory using the popular gaffe of Bola Ahmed Tunumbu. The question reads, using the social media trending uh, statistics statement, a town hall, uh, a town hall different from Bala Bala Bulubulu, Bulubulu, Bula, Ba. Justify social judgment theory. Hey, you are not a finish. <laughs> I shake my head. This is sparked reaction from many Nigerians online. Let us see the, the reactions of people online. Ugezu, J. Ugezu wrote, Very brilliant question. Linking establishment academic theories to empirical development. This lecturer is intelligent. Hey. King underscore a decade root. If you understand social judgment theory, you will answer the question. But knowing who your lecturer support will give you a cleaner direction because you can be right and still fail. <laughs> Breezy 11 root. Had it been Tunumbu is still strong and have all the qualities of Obi, Nigeria would have gone for him because Cruz is Niger and Niger is Cruz. We love something we love we love something we love <laughs> then uh, playboy graham wrote you guys think this is funny who who know who who know who know answer who repeat class who know answer who repeat class how how is the blue blara supposed to help one's life look said look uh, okay like say the um, teach person a town hall for school Chocolate root. Now only mass come. Fit said this kind of question. On <laughs> no professional cause go fit trial. <laughs> Til, uh, Tinuke memory road. Finally, someone understood it was a, a sarcastic statement. Daniela wrote, Tulumbu barely does not does interviews and attend political events, but when he does, his public statements are, not, are either offensive or meaningless. Not surprised about the Baba Blue, Blue Blue, Bulaba speech. It is uh, just shameful that some Nigerians are too blind to see he is uh, unfit to contest. 
beast on a scorn and some road. How will my people answer this kind of question? Now, waiting person take the carry over. <laughs> now, small thing, you know, after reading textbook back and front, they can't give you twenty well not inside textbook. I beg you, tell me how you want to answer this one. I let the carry root. We play too much in this country, of course, and we forget too much in this country. That is why every all of these politicians they are taking us for granted. And you are right on your, on your, on your, on your opinion, my dear. I, I totally agree with you. We play too much in this country. Anything that happens now, the next minute they take it as a comedy. The next other 13 minutes, everybody has forgotten. We move ahead. And that is why, instead of us moving forward, we are making moving backward in Nigeria in terms of infrastructure, economic, and uh, social development. Uh, Ting Far wrote, So much love applied questions. Those who came with Expos are now on their own because you won't even know where to apply it. <laughs> Let us begin, let us move forward. Tulumbu don't launch its own Jagaban army inside the, the same Obodo Niger. Police spokesperson CSP Moyewa Adejobi has reacted to the launch of the Jagaban army for the All Progressive Congress APC presidential uh, candidate Bola Tulumbu. Najalu reported that over the weekend, social media went agog after the national youth leader of APC, Dayo Israel, inaugurated a campaign group called the Jagaban army nobody will say anything now but when they start to wreak havoc that is when the authorities will wake up but now everybody will just they will just see, see that nothing happened and uh, how i wish this this thing now is being formed by, by ubi they will say now nah, ah, ubi have started to form another group or oh. he have started to form a, another biafra group or ipop the uniform worn by the members of the group has similarities with the that of a nigerian security uniforms you see it uh -huh. However, some netizens on the micro blogging platform Twitter call on the attention of the Nigerian police force, stating that the movie is troubling and there is a tendency that other political parties might want to do likewise. Others also aver that the movie is a threat to national security, which is capable of bringing tensions and chaos. Reacting via his uh, Twitter page, Mojiwa Adejobi said he is unaware of the Jagaban army and would make findings about it. He further urged anyone with more information on the development to send it to the security forces. He wrote, Well, I am not aware of this. I will make findings about this. It is strange to me as a person, and I am sure the force, the force too, is not aware of this. But anyone with more information about this can send to our official email, Kineko Kineko. Thanks, according to Muyowa Adejobi, the police the CSP spokesperson of Lagos State. The last but not the least, insurgency, sit at home, uh, order, pose serious challenges to general elections. Clarity go on. There no more sit at home again. So what are you saying? Uh, are you not uh, watching news or are you not uh, listening to what is happening? Who is feeding you with all this, uh, all this uh, fake news? No more sit at home in the eastern region. So please be mindful of what you are saying. If you say you are a cleric or whatever you call yourself. National Director, Church and Society, of the Catholic Bishop Conference of Nigeria and Executive Secretary Charitas Nigeria, Reverend Father Uchechuku Obodochima, Obodoch Obodo China, has warned that they stay sit at home order being observed every Monday in the Southeast and the Boko Haram insurgents in the Northeast and the uh, general insecurity in the country pose serious challenges to the forthcoming general elections. You can talk about the Boko Haram and the rest of them no more sit at home in the southeast to okay oga it is instead that uh, the need for the independent national electoral commission INEC, security agencies and other duty by uh, by bearers to be aware of the peculiarities and tendencies in different parts of the country and quickly address the gaps in order to have a hatch free and credible elections speaking at the pre-election dialogue organized by the characters nigeria yesterday in abuja Obodo China observed that elections in Nigeria have been bedeviled by all manners of malpractices, thuggery, and conflicts, and express of optimism that the forthcoming elections will be a reasonable milestone for the country. The cleric noted that there is a high level of fear and apprehension in the minds of uh, Nigerians concerning the, forth the forthcoming elections, hence the need for INEC and security agencies to tell Nigerians the level 
of their preparedness in order to counter their fears because if the fears persist they may not come out for the elections he said since the return of democracy in 1999 we have uh, we have had difficulties with all our elections where snatching of uh, ballot boxes and all sort of intimidations takes place during the elections we are trying to see how we can do things differently in the forthcoming elections we undertook research to let the duty barriers know what roles they should play to avoid the repeat of the past. The studies were meant to help INEC pinpoint peculiarities and difficulties in each region. For instance, the problem of sit at home on Mondays and the general insecurity of kidnapping are essential realities. How will general elections take place in such areas and become large, free and prosperous? Adding in the North East, we have problem of Boko Haram insurgents where people are not in their homes and you are you are to conduct elections in the area. The duty barriers must be aware of these tendencies and address the gaps and tell Nigerians the level of their prepared, preparedness in, a, in order to counter their fears because if the fears persist, they may not come out for the elections. The problem of insurgents in the northeast, the sit at home in the southeast are sufficiently alarming and the relevant government agencies should be able to encourage and reassure people that there are no fears. The security agencies should live up to their responsibilities, but if the government and the duty bearers are not deliberate to encouraging people to go out of their way to participate in the elections, it might have a negative impact in the country. Obodechina stated that uh, though Nigerians are already traumatized, they have uh, a binding responsibility as citizens to take uh, their destinies into their hands. Therefore, Nigerians should not be indifferent towards indifferent towards the elections, because Nigeria project is our project, and people should come out to make statements through their votes. He stated. So that is all we have today. I will have this afternoon for you all. Until I come your way again, I still remain Okute Daily Talk. If you have not subscribed to my channel, endeavor to do that as soon as possible. Make sure you turn on the notification button so that you will be notified each time we go live or we post something new on this channel or any other channel related to Okute Daily Talk. Turn on the notification button so that you will be notified. I still remain your one and only Okute Daily Talk, where we speak to you the undiluted truth about the things of life, what is happening in our society what happened around us and what is happening in this so con in this country called uh, Fulane uh, government of Nigeria bye for now kemesiano